how to put up traps to defend pro players and wreck their strategies, which composition to use to 6 star with a great margin, and how I got to the number 10 global. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Max Killer here and check it out, perfect pronounce right there. So today I'm starting my English channel which is dubbed from my Russian one. I don't know how YouTube will deal with this, but if Itsu did it, then I can too. So today I got to number 10 global and uh, I'm catching up to max basis. This month I'm gonna be max 2. So I don't see why can I push for number one. So let me show you my attacks. Most of the time I'm using cannon cards and baby dragons and this strategy is just insane. I can take nearly every base with it. And uh, shout out to AJ and Kingbub because uh, I learned this from them. But for now I think like I might be better, I don't know. So let me show you what I'm doing. Here is a baby dragon to take out the lava launcher and uh, now I'm gonna deploy the second one which will damage the archer tower and also finish off the lava. And when the second archer tower is focused on the captor I can use my baby dragon to damage it and let my cards break free. Now I got only a giant cannon which can damage them and uh, I get archers for that. At this point this attack can look boring because all you do is watch them snipe the buildings. Uh, <laughs> like with cannon cards you only get two state of minds. You are bored while they snipe on buildings and the other one you stressed out when they running out of time. Oh, this was a scary moment. I forgot to replace cannon mode to murder mode and uh, it's nearly on the edge of death. Yeah, I'm sounding too dramatic but this attack is done. This base is done. I got a lot of troops. When you got uh, three cannon cards alive for the second stage, you are good to go. There is nothing that can stop you. Even if you hit a push trap, you still gonna get it. But with cannon cards, you always want them to stay at the places where there is no traps. For example, where the defensive troops rarely somebody uh, placing the traps. With the cannon card on the other side though, I put Archer to test for traps and I actually find one. So now this is the perfect place to put my cannon card. And here is exactly why I placing two cannon cards at the same place, because they can deal with the defensive troops very easily. And at this point I can use my machine to just go and tank for something, but <laughs> I don't really need it. But I'm never really swagging troops, this is just a waste of time. Why swag while you can attack faster and uh, make more 6 stars? This is just for entertaining somebody else, I don't know. At this point I can place all my troops and they will easily finish off this base. So we're going on to the next attack and uh, this is the same guy and what are you doing bro? He just switched the expo which is supposed to be on air to ground and what are you expecting to see? Like everybody will use baby dragons to 6 star this base easily. And this is exactly what I'm doing. So this is just a boring baby dragon attack. You just use your baby dragons. They are not supposed to group up. But in the end I still managed somehow to lost four of them. And I needed to use the final one to finish off the gold collector. This is not really a good attack when it's such a benefit with that expo. But look what I'm doing at the second attack. This is quite interesting. You don't see that often. So what are we seeing here? At this base there is uh, 5 air defenses, also the archer tower and 3 teslas. So it's not really a good idea to go with baby dragons. Also there is a murder archer and the defensive troops and also teslas for my cannons. So I'm deciding to go with pekas. Because in this base there is no double cannons. You rarely see that in the second stage. But here is exactly the base when you should go with Pekas. Even though at the first stage you went with baby dragons, this time there is no reason not to switch to Pekas. Because look at this. They just go in, Bomber open up all the base and uh, all I need to care about is the last cannon at the end. But for that I got a baby dragon from the last attack and it uh, works out perfectly because he even find a Tesla. 
So now this base is crushed and we're just looking at it falling apart. So let us begin with the most fun part at the builder base. I love it. How I put up traps. So this time Crazy8, I guess from Breaking Bad, he was reborn to 6 star me in builder base. Uh, attacking me and look at this he is placing his giants and wizards quite smartly because uh, he placing the giant first and the wizard exactly the same path as the giant goes so if the giant finds a push trap the wizard won't die on it but it's still possible to trap this approach and uh, what i'm doing is placing two giant mines to uh, trap the wizards so they will die instantly so now let's watch the replay again. This moment makes me want to play this game. Look at this example. This guy was trapped by me so hard I was laughing my ass off while I was watching it. Because at the first stage he did a very strange approach and the second one Look what I did. I was like the Dr. Evil laughing at this moment. I was watching this live. Oh my god. How funny it is. <laughs> it just gave up instantly. <laughs> so now I'm supposed to explain how I put up my traps. And uh, in the Russian version of this video I am doing exactly that. But let me just talk the talk. So I'd like to hear some comments from you if you even understand what I'm saying because my pronouns is not so good right now. I haven't spoken English for about five years now since high school. So it's quite terrible. I understand that. But it will get better. Feel free to correct my grammar. It's much appreciated. I'm not ashamed of that because, you know, it's not my native language and I am just started my Russian channel like a couple months ago and uh, it's very hard for me to explain at my native language what I'm saying but in English man it's hard it's really hard this video took me two days to dub it but why am I even complaining about this this is what I'm doing so we are going global guys and uh, also, if I already started to talk some foreign language for me, Hallo meine deutsche Freunde, ich hatte Deutsch in Schule lernen. Aber, but okay, you already got it, so you don't need me, my channel to be translated in Deutsch. So, see ya! <laughs> <laughs>